He's here with you tonight, and uh, I'm uh, still in a pretty dress, and don't ask how I made it into this chair. I'm not even sure at the moment. Apparently I'm coming out a little bit. I, I do apologize about that, but uh, how much I can do about that. There we go. Okay, better. <laughs> uh, the only problem with not wearing the neck plate and wearing his head is I tend to pop a little bit. The neck plate actually makes more of a closure on me. Anywho. Yeah, it's as good as it's probably going to get. <clears throat> so, Mewtwo here with you tonight with my big lump and tail still attached to me. So, uh, I want to see what it looks like when I try to sit down on this. It ain't pretty. <laughs> um, so for tonight, we're going to start off with uh, a game thoughts. So I can keep myself from showing too much shirt. Too much shirt. There's no way that's going to be completely gone, but, uh, well. Those have to accept what I can't show. <laughs> anyway, tonight's game thoughts is going to be on uh, one of a very short list of racing games that I ever thought were worth owning. And uh, one that's probably a weird one to have thought was fun. Uh, especially since what it was sourced from wasn't so good. Um, the purpose of it in the movie that it was in was felt out of place and not really important, but it actually made a good video game. What am I talking about? It's an N64 game, Star Wars Pod Racer. Uh, I'm sorry, Star Wars Episode One Racer. It's the pod racing game. So, why in the world would I like this game? I am a big Star Wars fan, and I'd already, by the time I got to getting this game, was well aware <clears throat> that Episode 1 was uh, <clears throat> not so good. But, um, and the pod racing scene was actually one of my least favorite things in the whole movie. But, out of all the strangeness, the game was good, okay? Uh, the concept of pod racing was a lot better than the implementation on that movie. <clears throat> the whole, oh, it's going to be uh, the whole only one survives at the end, all the people crash and burn. <clears throat> I was not well. Um, it was a rather dull portion of the movie. I felt it was just kind of tacked in there. I was not amused. But the whole concept of the pod races happening in different worlds, uh, different environments, um, the fact that you actually have to deal with your racer functioning properly during the whole race. Uh, if you don't, you can get blown up and have to, like, Get delayed. You don't just lose automatically for blowing up or falling off a cliff. Kind of Mario Kart esque in that. The fact that you don't really die, you just wait for a lag two to pick you up. Uh, in this case, there's no lag two, you just kind of respawn. But either way, it does have a good fun to it. The control is really nice. The animations are really good, honestly. I feel like uh, the cars, the pod racers, are fun to be in. You feel like you're there. You're not forced to just be Anakin, which is good. I mean, you don't have to be Wonder Boy. <laughs> you can be all these other neat characters uh, with these different unique racers. That It's not like, oh, what are you in? I'm such and such. I'm the red car. Oh, no, I'm such and such. I'm the blue car. No, this one's like, this has got big honking engines like this, this has got engines like this. It's, in, it's totally different looks. They do act a little differently from what I remember. 
Um, and they're, that's actually a good race game. And I'm not a racing game kind of person. I'll definitely put that right out there. I don't even dig Mario Kart. I'm sorry to everyone out there. It's just not my thing. Um, but I'm not opposed to people enjoying those kinds of games. By all means, have your Mario Karts, have your Forzas, have your whatever kind of racing game makes you happy. That's just not for me. I also don't like football games, so guess what other game you're not going to hear about ever on this channel? Sports games. Actually, I don't like a couple because I rescued them from being thrown out. That is the only reason I possess those. Because I saved them from being in a garbage can. Not because I had any intention of playing them. Granted, uh, I remember more than enough times seeing those at use video game stores at like 50 cents or a quarter. There'd be just like rows of football of various years <laughs> all together. Quarter, 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 50 cents, 50 cents. Like, oh, was the 99 bad just twice exciting as the 98 bad and that it could be 50 cents? No, there's just only like 27 of those. There's like 57 of the other one. Oh, oh. Because people bought the first one then realized they didn't need to buy it again next year because the game didn't really change. Except the people's name tags on the shirts. Yeah. Not going to get into that. I mean, we're just talking about Star Wars Racer here at the moment. But the characters were fun enough to give you a reason why you picked who you picked. Their different pods were fun enough looking and different enough looking. You felt like you were actually selecting a different kind of race car. Uh, like instead of picking a, a, a Ford SUV, you picked a uh, Dodge Convertible. It's completely different monsters out there on the field. And it felt good. It felt different. It felt like you had different options. This one would handle better. This one had better speed. This one had better acceleration, but at a lower top speed. Stuff like that. Uh, and it felt like it was a good game. I liked it for that. Um, and being an N64 copy of it, you could plug in four controllers and a four-player couch co-op racing. Uh, doing the whole split four ways on the screen kind of thing. Not a bad option. And, well, if you got to have games you can play with your friends, that's definitely one that I put in the recommendations for your N64 collection. It does the job. It entertains. Gives you a lot of people to be. Gives you something to do besides playing Smash Brothers all day. And, hey, might have a little zoom zoom fun and blow up. Woo! <laughs> Okay, well, not too much else to say. I mean, it's a racing game, so lots of tracks, fun stuff to race with your friends, good graphics, not football. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you could, hit that little dingly bell down there. It will uh, alert you about any new videos I post. Uh, also, uh, if you are so inclined, the Patreon link is in the description below. And I appreciate any pennies that are handed to me. They do help me produce better videos. I am doing my best to improve things. I have a few ideas down the line here that I'm looking into. I just need to get some spare time on a day off to attempt a couple of these things. Uh, this week was kind of tight on the free time. Uh, I'm not sure when this will air, but... Uh, this was just, this is the week after my transition from Tuesday through Saturday to Monday through Friday. So I had a one day weekend in between work and work. And we're on Tuesday, the second day of the uh, new work week. And it's, let's just say Monday, I was pretty rough because I'm so used to at least getting two days off between work and work. Having a whole day off. You know where you're doing stuff. You had two days where you weren't at work. This is one day off, and it was a grocery shopping day then because you needed to do that. And then follow it up with 
um, well, working the next day. I was pretty rough on Monday morning, and I'm still a little rough today on Tuesday. But, you know what? The show has to go on, and we got a little mute too. Both uh, full suit video recorded, which is probably already been posted ages ago at this point. And here, I'm using the full suit for these conversational ones. How cool is that? Yeah. Anyway, um, little kisses from my one patron that asked for that. And uh, I definitely thank you all for watching. And uh, hope you all stay good in Pokemon -y and. Wish me luck because trying to hit the mouse button with these paws is a exciting moment. That might work. See y'all later.